Hey, I'm Yang. Hello, I'm Vivek. And I'm Anurag. Here we're going to demonstrate our DA project with the objective of classifying news articles into various categories and compare the models and results. Our data set has half a million rows with two columns. One column describing the data and the other the category which the article belongs to. Well, the next thing is what motivated us to do this project? Well, proper summarization and indexing are very important in effective search and retrieval. With evergreen amount of data, it becomes absolutely necessary to categorize the data. So here we are dealing with text categorization. Switching on to the challenges. Well, the initial challenge was to collect the data. Having found a suitable data set which meets a requirement, the next big thing was pre-processing it and encoding it into a suitable form. The initial step which we took was pre-processing the data set, which involves removing stop words, punctuation, removing extra wide spaces, tokenizing the articles. We accomplish this using our library, which involves text mining, that is TM, and QDAP, which is to remove regex, that is regular expressions. Moving on to the coding part. To give a brief overview of this video, we'll be covering the following models, Nightpage, Linear SVM, Ngrams, and Neural Network. Now, let's take a look at the dataset. As you can see, there are many columns in this dataset, but only two are specific to our use, the title and the category. Well, the category has been encoded as E stands for entertainment, B for business, M for health, and T for technology. Moving on with the first model, that is the knife base. A few words to get you familiar with knife base. Knife base classifier works on the principle of Bayes' theorem of conditional probability which takes the assumption that the data attributes are independent of each other. We take the input test data and for each word in the sentence, we calculate the probability of the word belonging to each category. This is repeated for all words and the probabilities are multiplied and compared. The class with the highest probability is assigned to the article. The stuff here basically imports the necessary libraries, reads the files. Well. I'm not covering this, you can refer to this in the link provided below. Jumping on to the important stuff, that is encoding and fitting the necessary model. So as you can see here in this code, we have particularly used the TF-IDF transformer which is provided in the sklearn library. Well, the output of this will be the encoded format of the strings suitable to use in the model. Now moving on to the fitting part so here as you can see this function out here multinomial dot fit basically fits a multinomial naive base to the training data the x underscore train underscore tf idea basically represents the training data and arr3 is the target of the training data that is the class to which each of the training article belongs to now the next pick the next step is basically calling the predict function. What it does is, it predicts the class of the corresponding articles. Moving on to n-grams. The training data is split into four separate documents, each representing a category. Then, we extract the bigrams and the unigrams for each document and store them. To find joint probability, we apply Markov's assumption, that is, the conditional probability distribution of future states of the process depends only upon the present state. That is, we don't go too much in the past. The code out here demonstrates the same. We are extracting the unigrams, the bigrams, and calculating the probability as the count of the bigram divided by the count of the unigram and doing, repeating the same for each document and assigning the document to the class with the highest probability. Moving on to SVM. We use the standard SKLN feature extraction module which extracts the features. We encode the data using one hot technique and represent the training data as vectors. Then the scikit library comes up with multiple linear hyperplanes to separate the data into four categories. Demonstrating the same in the code out here. Well, as you can see, we have used the function count underscore vectorizer and TF IDF transformer and S GD classifier to basically fit the SVM model and the predict to predict the corresponding articles. So let's move on to deep learning neural network model. Basically what we are doing here is getting all the text into a variable called text and labels into a label variable and then converting the label into 
categories that is one hot encoding of the label using two categorical function of keras now let's move on to our model which is being defined here which consists of two hidden layers with each consisting of 64 nodes with activation function ReLU with input size of 10,000 dimensions. And then later on what we are doing is making this model, we are going to fit our data that is partial X train and Y train onto it. And then we are getting the evaluated output into the result variable. Moving on to the result section, the accuracies are as follows. Naipes and SVM around 30% n grams 90 percent and neural networks around 85 percent well the preferred model in this case would be neural network as n grams is not guaranteed to perform well in all the cases due to the long distance dependencies similarly since naipes is a probabilistic model if a word doesn't appear in a particular class its probability goes down to zero and hence naipes gives a poor accuracy svm relies on the distance relationships and hence it justifies its poor accuracy.